Scientists estimate that there are approximately 9 million animal species in nature, but they have only identified around 2 million of them. Unfortunately, due to various reasons, many animal species are facing extinction. Some species have such small populations that they consist of only a few hundred or even just a few dozen individuals. In this video, I will be showcasing some of the rarest and most extraordinary animal species that are only born once in a thousand years. Let's get started. Red Wolf The red wolf is a fascinating creature and one of the rarest species in the world. It is classified as an endangered species and is one of the rarest of all wolf species. The population of red wolves had dwindled significantly over the years. In fact, in 1980, there were only 200 red wolves remaining, and they were all held in captivity. To conserve and safeguard this majestic animal, an initiative was launched to breed the species in captivity and release it back into the wild. In 1987, the first group of red wolves was released into the wild in North Carolina. This initiative proved to be a success, and the red wolf population has since grown. The red wolf is a wild dog that is slightly larger than a coyote and slightly smaller than a gray wolf. As it matures, its legs and ears grow longer than those of similar species. The red wolf is an incredibly beautiful animal with a reddish-brown coat, large ears, and a bushy tail. Its unique features make it a fascinating creature to study and admire. Philippine Eagle As you may have guessed by now, this majestic bird can only be found in the Philippines. Although the Philippine eagle sometimes spends time on forest borders and has even been found in regions where forests have been cleared, it's still a true forest raptor that hunts, builds nests, and raises its chicks only in the forest. However, its habitat is sometimes located at high altitudes. Deforestation and conversion of forest to agricultural land are destroying much of the habitat of the species. Therefore, in recent years, eagles have been forced to live mostly on slopes, which tend to be safer as they're harder for humans to reach. The Philippine eagle is not only one of the largest of its kind, but also one of the most beautiful eagles. In the natural system of a particular region, everything is interconnected, and when one species dies out, another may disappear as well because they could, for example, provide each other with food. The Philippine eagle is one such animal on which many other species depend. This is why it's especially important to pay attention to the eagles to preserve the ecosystem as a whole. Philippine Crocodile Freshwater crocodiles in the Philippines are an endangered species and among the most vulnerable animals. They have small golden brown bodies, large muzzles, and thick bony plates on their backs. These crocodiles prefer living in estuarine and coastal habitats, as well as freshwater bodies such as ponds, marshes, and small rivers. During the day, they like to bask in the sun. Interestingly, they also open their mouths to cool down if they get too hot. Another interesting fact is that crocodiles eat rocks to control their buoyancy and balance on the surface of the water, as well as to help them digest dense food. Unfortunately, Overhunting for their skin has led to a drastic reduction in their population. However, now they face another problem, the destruction of their habitat. The authorities are cutting down tropical forests to make way for rice paddies, which is a threat to the survival of this unique species. Golden Tiger The Golden Tiger, also known as the Golden Tabby Tiger or the Strawberry Tiger, is a tiger with a recessive gene that causes color variations. In fact, these tigers just possess a distinctive appearance and are not a separate subspecies. The golden tiger got its unusual coloration because of a recessive mutation called Y-band. It impairs the formation of black coloring during the animal's hair growth cycle. The distinctive feature of this tiger is the light or golden hue of the coat and the red-brown stripes. Since the unusual color has no official name, it's sometimes called strawberry because of the light strawberry hue of the animal. Interestingly, such unusual appearance traits are very rare. As of today, there are less than 30 individuals of these rare tigers left, but there are many more carriers of the gene. Hainan Black-Crested Gibbon The Hainan Black-Crested Gibbon 
is the most endangered primate and one of the most endangered mammals in general. This primate has a unique appearance resembling a toy stuffed animal due to its thick and fluffy fur. The females have a golden color with a black spot on top, while the males are fully black. They have no tail, but instead have a beautiful mohawk on their heads. Interestingly, the males also have a golden yellow mustache, which gives them the appearance of cool country singers. The Hainan black crested gibbon is a small primate, weighing around 16 to 18 pounds and standing about three feet tall. They have long limbs and a slim build. Unfortunately, there are only 20 individuals of this species left in the world, making them extremely vulnerable. Sumatran Reno Many rhinoceros species have faced population declines in recent history, and unfortunately, the Sumatran rhino is no exception. This species can be recognized by its shaggy red hair and ability to climb mountains. However, these days it's rarely seen in the wild after the mainland population went extinct in Malaysia several years ago. Fewer than 300 individuals remain on the planet. This decline is due to terrible illegal poaching, as rhino horns can be very expensive. In addition, the horns are often used to make amulets because of the belief that they protect against poison. However, it's not only the horns that are in demand. The dried meat of these animals is used to cure everything from diarrhea to leprosy. Besides poaching, there's another reason contributing to the extinction of Sumatran rhinos. Tropical forests in which they live are often targeted by illegal loggers because the trees are rare and valuable. Tree Kangaroo The tree kangaroo is a rare and fascinating animal that is at risk of extinction. It is an unusual species that has evolved in a peculiar way. The tree kangaroo genus is native to the rainforests of the island of New Guinea, the northeastern part of the Australian state of Queensland and the surrounding islands. While most of the species are found in mountainous terrain, some can also be found on the plains. Although the genus as a whole is threatened, it is not yet endangered. However, some subspecies have already gone extinct or are at risk of extinction. This is mainly because of deforestation, which destroys their natural habitats and makes them vulnerable to predators and hunters. Unfortunately, tree kangaroos are not only hunted by predators, but by many local tribes and communities as well. The land that they used to call home is now being used for rice, wheat, and coffee production. As you can see, there are almost 9 million species of animals on our planet, and among them, you can find many unique creatures that are not like ordinary species. Let's take a look at them too. Zorse. Zorse or Zebrula, as it's also called, looks like an animal which print was printed, but the printer ran out of ink at some point. Zorses are a very strange creature, if only because it's yet another experiment in mixing different animals. Apparently, an ordinary mule wasn't enough. Some scientists created this animal. Interestingly, Zorses are usually prone to dwarfism, making them even more amusing or cute. Albino seal. It is often the case that people are fascinated by rare and unique animals. However, in reality, these animals are often rejected by their own kind due to their differences. The likelihood of such unusual animals appearing is only about one in a hundred thousand, making them even more intriguing to study and observe. White serval. The white serval looks just like a creature from a winter wonderland but these creatures certainly do not live in snowy regions. They're usually albinos because their natural fur is completely white. The serval is the object of fishing because its pelt is used for fur products. It's also valued in some parts of Africa because of its meat, but the white serval is not only popular among hunters of rare animals. Fans of unusual pets also appreciate the royal, majestic appearance of the subspecies. Fortunately, servals are fairly easy to tame and can be comfortable in captivity. Ghost Shark Scientists should consider changing the existing system of naming animals. For instance, the ghost shark, although not a shark, is still related to sharks. This fascinating creature has dark eyes that emit a misty glow. That's all. Guys, which animal do you like and remember the most? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you later.